Hello, and thanks for taking out the time to watch this short video brought to you by Tamron. My name is Damien, and I am part of the tech team at Tamron USA. Today, we will talk about what is VC. I understand the cloud of jargon can be very confusing. So one term that you'll likely hear more often than others is image stabilization. Simply put, um, an explanation is that VC will help you to get a sharper image, especially when your hands are moving during an exposure. Our image stabilization system is called VC, similar to VR, IS, or OS. These are terms that I'm sure you're very familiar with and you hear quite often. So let's take a further look. Here we have the major components of a lens from the front element. We have the second group of elements as well. The aperture assembly, rear element, VC element, autofocus motor, circuit boards, cam and zoom barrels, rear mounts. These are all the major components of the lens. And assembled together, a view inside the lens will look somewhat like this. We'll take a close look into the VC um, as well. This is the unit assembled all together. This is a 70 to 200, 2.8 VC and the VC unit is towards the rear. So as you can see, this lens has an internal zoom and as it moves back and forth, you can see the elements moving as well. Vibration compensation. This is our lens stabilization system, which typically works by shifting a lens group, usually towards the rear of the lens on a plane perpendicular to the optical axis. Like I mentioned, this is a picture of our VC unit inside the lens that moves a floating element to keep the image steady on the surface of the sensor. This is done with the help of a gyro sensors inside the lens. These sensors help to pick up the angle of movement and this information is then fed to a microprocessor which computes the necessary adjustments needed to be made by the lens group. And in doing so, the light's angle of refraction is changed so that it hits the sensor in the right place. <clears throat> We've also updated and improved our VC system, and we added an acceleration sensor, um, which is a separate sensor for noticing camera shift. Um, and this is for movements such as when the camera moves up and down, left or right, while remaining parallel to your subject. A few tips, whenever you shoot in low light or you use a long lens or if you can't hold the camera steady, you risk introducing camera shake into your images. This manifests itself as a blurring of details and unlike other image quality issues, it's not something that can be fixed in post-processing. It's important therefore to get it right as you capture it and with the VC this is perhaps the easiest way to do this. All right, so we'll take a look at what happens inside of a lens. Most people are not steady, and as you're shooting and looking through the viewfinder, you will pick up movement. In the upper right, this is what we actually see through the view, viewfinder with our move, movements. This is courtesy of f-stoppers. <clears throat> Camera shake is a thief of sharpness. Even when you are steady with hand holding, um, you still move as you press the shutter release button. And that movement during the exposure is what blurs the image. The only way to overcome the camera shake is to eliminate the movement in the camera and the lens during the exposure. The obvious way to do this is by taking the camera out of your hands and using it on a tripod or you can just simply use the VC. This is what happens inside your lens when you depress the shutter release button. As the stabilization takes place in the lens, the photographer is able to view the effect through the viewfinder, the group of elements usually used in the opposite direction. Typically, this is activated once the shutter release button is halfway depressed, as I mentioned. 
In this particular shot with the 18 to 400, the VC was used at around 70 millimeters. It's not needed, but it was used to, it came in very handy. It really was needed at the 300 end with VC, um, especially since I was not shooting on a tripod and using a longer focal length. So, all of our lenses, the majority of our lenses do have VC, which is image stabilization. It's great for handheld shooting. Please make sure that you pick one up next time that you're able to try it out. Thanks for watching. Please follow me if you will, Tamron Damien on Instagram and Tamron Damien at Facebook. Thanks for watching.